Hello guys, welcome back to another Guy on Two Wheels video. Today we're reviewing Kernan Cycle Trail. This connects um, Corral Canyon OHV area to Pine Valley OHV area. Um, it's a single track, double track, pretty technical. Wouldn't recommend it if you're not that great at riding. Technically going from Pine Valley to here is super easy, but going backwards, which I'm doing, is pretty hard. So, we'll see how it goes. If I die, I die. Um, this trail is adopted by uh, San Diego Adventure Riders, which doesn't really make sense because I don't want to take an adventure bike down here, but thank you for maintaining and funding this trail. San Diego Adventure Riders, if you're an adventure bike rider, I would actually join them. Um, they're a pretty cool organization. They host adventure rides, um, a lot of other stuff. Really cool people you meet. Um, I will say on this trail, watch for mountain bikers. Somehow they still think they own the road. And they love riding this trail because, you know, it's a downhill. So if you're coming both ways, just watch. I don't want any accidents happening because, yeah, accidents are bad. But mountain bikers, also be cautious of dirt bikers. I mean, there's people coming through. So if someone's trying to pass you, let them pass. Um, if you're coming on a blind corner, you know, turn your bell on. You know, it's just customary rules, you know, on multi-use trails. You just gotta be smart. Especially bi-directional trails, which this is. But as you can, if you can just hear it, I'm barely on the gas. I'm like riding this as a mountain bike, which... It's so funny talking to motorcycle guys and mountain bike guys, and you're like, guys, we're like practically the same sport. Because as someone who does both, I just ride this like a mountain bike. And it's the exact same. Your balance positions are the same. The only thing that's different is I pedal with my wrist and my feet are not separate. They are on a, a center line. But besides that, it's really similar. So I would recommend, you know, motorcycle guys try mountain biking and mountain biking guys try motorcycling. Because, you know, we, we tend to hate each other a lot, which, we shouldn't. There's there's groups that hate us both, which have more power to close both of our trails. And the more time we spend fighting each other, the more those groups win. Why can't we just work together? You know? Mountain bikers, we make berms for, or no, bikes, motorcycles make nice berms and cut down trees for mountain bikers. And mountain bikers, um, well, they're quiet. And that's cool. And they're someone just trying to get out to recreate. And you know, there's something to be said for just people trying to... Oh, that was bad. I hit the ground hard on that one. I mean, I'm not hurt, but the bike might be. But yeah, that's what my opinion is on mountain bikes and bicycles. You know, we're both cool. We can share the same trails. We aren't mutually exclusive. We're just trying to get out and ride. You know, if you're on two wheels, that's cool. Uh, that's why they call me guy on two wheels, not guy on a motorcycle, guy on a mountain bike. I'm just a guy on two wheels trying to have some fun. Although, more recently I've been only riding mountain motorcycles. But I started mountain biking again, and it was actually pretty fun. And I think it's helped me become a better motorcycle rider. Just like how motorcycling has helped me become a better mountain biker. I, I was not able to do track stands or, you know those like 180 jumps? where the guys like do a bunny hop and they do a 180. I wasn't able to do that or balance or pivot off my rear wheel or really good at stoppies, but just riding dirt bikes and working on my balance on that and I sucked at it. Like I can't even track stand on a dirt bike, but I got on a mountain bike after not riding for I think a year and I was able to track stand amazingly and you know, bounce off the rear wheel. I was actually able to mountain bike just as good despite not riding for a year. And it was absolutely wild because you'd think, you know, a 300 pound dirt bike would not be the same as a 30 pound mountain bike, but I guess they were. So that's my message to all you mountain bike guys, e-bike guys, dirt bike guys. You know, if you're on two wheels, that's pretty cool. And the saying I like to say is different strokes for different folks. You know, one guy likes pedal strokes, one guy likes four strokes, one guy likes two strokes, and someone likes no strokes. And 
we're all having fun so why can't we just get along and yeah that's my utopian message over man there's a lot of whoops on this trail although some of these whoops are actually put in by the national forest you might be like why that just hurts and the benefit they provide is they're like little water diversions Whew. oh man my back hurts i'll do the tabletop Woo. and this is i think corral canyon road whatever however you get in and you just cross right over here and you start Kernan cycle trail part two and you gotta avoid the water these whoops have gotten worse since the last time I've been here. But maybe I'll have to come back. There's actually, the guys who uh, manage Jawbone, they have this thing that they put on the back of a quad. And it's very much a scraper. And it will scrape uh, whoop de doos And after like three or four passes, it's actually a flat graded road, which just sounds amazing. Like maybe when it rains, we should get one of those and put it out here. Maybe someone contact the National Forest about that. That'd be cool. Because then we wouldn't have all these bad whoops in the desert and stuff. So you might be wondering like, okay, there's a dirt bike and quad trail from Pine Valley to, um, where is it, Corral Canyon, but why isn't there like a four x four trail or a trail that isn't so hard so like my kid can start in Pine Valley right over to Corral Canyon, but when we're all beat out from the day, why can't we just, you know, have an easy fire road across? And the thing is, there was, back a while ago, there's, and the road's still there, it's just overgrown, because the Forest Service closed it, which honestly kind of is funny, because now they're saying the same thing. They're like, hey, we want to be able to manage both areas without having to load up our side-by-sides and go from one to the other. Why isn't there a four-by-four road? <laughs> That's why they closed their own service road. But the good news is, uh, there's actually, some talks um, about building or rebuilding that road. I know at the last or second to last Corral Canyon cleanup, one of the rangers was like, hey, if you want to go build it, go cut it. I won't tell anyone. But obviously he was joking about that. You know, you don't want to build a trail without the proper approval. So the trail never got built. But it would be nice to have because literally the Forest Service rangers are like, we can't, you know, manage both areas. We, we operate with side-by-sides, but there's no way to get from Pine Valley to Crow Canyon. And it's just something that really should be built. So um, I know San Diego Off-Road Coalition, I'm gonna call them SGRC from now on because that's a lot of words. They have been talking to the Forest Service lightly about it. And I think, you know, probably with some effort, they could get it built. So maybe contact them and ask them, when's that coming or can we build it you know maybe give them some support because to build trails um it one requires a lot of money money that the national forest higher-ups don't like giving out so a lot of the bill sometimes up towards of like 50 to 60 percent is footed by clubs and activacy groups and trust me a lot of these groups they don't have the support they deserve they're running on thin margins of just you know, a few events and that funds their entire year. And that's just not enough. So definitely give them SGRC some support. They totally need it. They're actually responsible for getting the potentially new off-road park built in San Diego County. So that's really cool. And yeah, just go to them and be like, hey, here's some money, here's my support. Show up to some meetings and be like, Hey, as an active member, I want to help with the building of the trail um, from Pine Valley to Crow Canyon. And by doing that, it just helps, whatchamacallem, the organization, you know, for one, your membership gives them some money to do it. And for two, it tells them, well, this is something the off-road basis also agrees on. And then they can use that inflate, that larger membership size to go to the Forest Service, go to state parks, and say, hey, can we get a grant to build this trail? And by showing that there's ample need and ample support, it gets built. And you do the environmental work, 
and it all happens. But none of that happens when there's no one pushing for that. And like, I think some of the off-road groups in San Diego only have like 100 members. And there's 100,000 off-roaders in, in uh, whatchamacallit, in San Diego County. So why aren't more of them joining, you know? For all these people I hear complaining about, oh, they're closing these trails. <laughs> None of the off-road community actually does anything to fight it. It's like not even showing up to a boxing match and then complaining why you lost. It's like, no, duh. You sent a six-year-old to go fight Rocky Balboa. So that's my rant about the off-road industry. And there's another beautiful look at Lake Morena. Whoo, nice lake. You can actually, there's a county park over there that you can go and kayak and I think, I don't know if you'd want to swim in that lake, but you can kayak, sit on the shore. There's a nice little, I think it's called Lake Morena Village. You know, they have some nice restaurants and stuff. A really nice place to go if you want to just, you know, get outside. So I definitely recommend that area. It'd be really nice if they allowed, like if they built a dirt bike trail or a 4x4 trail that connected us to the lake. Because then you could have, um, you know, you go riding and then for lunch, you're, hey, let's go ride over to Lake Marina Village. And that's all cool. And that also helps the people who live out there because, you know, you know a few thousand, maybe even more, probably a few tens of thousand visit Corral Canyon every year. And a lot of them would love to go over there for lunch, and that's just money brought in to those small towns. So, county parks, think about it. I know you have the infrastructure to do it. I know there's actually a trail to go there, and that'd be nice if you just, you know, change the sign. But you're getting guy on two wheels' off-road dreams right now. And actually, I just realized I'm past all the hard sections on Kern and Cycles Trail. So, whoo! My feet slipped off, they're a little muddy. And it's actually pretty easy from here on out. Um, so, yeah, I, I, don't, I wouldn't really recommend this for quads unless you're a really good quad rider. Like, there's some exposed sections over there that are just really hard to do if you don't get it right. And then there's just rocks, and I know quad riders hate rocks, except for GNCC riders, but you know, we're on the west coast. East coast guys are a little, are built different. West coast quad riders like, you know, going fast and hitting whoop de doos They don't really like that technical stuff. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a quad or even quad tracks on this trail, even though they're allowed. Well guys, we're almost at the end. So I think I'm gonna start wrapping up. If you like what you saw, like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you fans do. I don't even know if I have any fans or is there just robots commenting on my channel. But yeah, this is Kern and Cycles Trail. We're on Bear Valley Trail right now. Um, yeah, this is just a nice loop. Um, it's just the reason I like it is I can park over there and it cuts about 30 minutes off my drive And I just ride dirt all the way to here and I'm good But yeah, it's Kern and Cycles Trail um, I hope you guys liked the video. See ya